Hello guys, another Monday, huh? we made it, Monday, Monday, another month for you guys, so as you know in the title, we're going to do the Tuno, Tuno, Tono, I don't know, cover. I'm going to gather some tools and then we're going to get it done, so stick around. All right guys, so this is what uh, came in the box, came with instructions. Uh, with the brackets, uh, two pieces of foam, like, you know, uh, the cover and two rails. So what you need is a screwdriver, uh, 14, uh, number 14 uh, socket and a number 16 socket. Oh, one note. For some reason, I think uh, the guys that sent me the cover made a mistake. I didn't order uh, the cover for my Nissan with the utility track. If you have the utility track, you only need two clamps. Obviously, I don't have it, so I need three. So I contact them and hopefully they will send me another clamp. So just uh, be aware that if you have the utility track you only use two in my case I don't have it I use three so all right so both rails are mounted uh, like I said I have to uh, hear from the guys uh, Tiger company see if they're gonna send me another another clamp so this is way different I mean this uh, cover is way different than the ones that you see on, on YouTube uh, this one they clamp on the side so this is here's how they they clamp so see all this uh, groove here is gonna be uh, that's what you need the clamp for so it's it's on the side it's not like uh, the other clamps they they grip on it this one grip like this okay so both are for some reason uh, I couldn't get it line up see this gap here I don't know why, but on the on the, the ones in the back, see they they are flush, and you gotta go all the way up. Somehow on this one, I I couldn't get it, you know, to work as well. But but it's you know, I try to make it flush, so you don't see any 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 gaps here, and then you can close the tailgate. See. Really good. So what I'm gonna do now, it's uh, put the cover. So what you're gonna do with the 16 uh, socket, uh, take this out, and then you're gonna line it up with these holes over here. I don't think I'm gonna need the rubber here. Uh, this piece of rubber that came with tape. I don't think we're gonna need it. I'll let you know if we need it. But that's what I'm gonna do right now, okay? Okay, now that you, you know, unbolt the two uh, bolts that you have here. So you have one on this side, obviously, and one on the other side over here. Okay, so this is going off. And this is going underneath. Okay, it's going to be underneath here like that. Okay, in that hole. And these bolt so you can adjust it okay uh, so I'm gonna put it on top and then I'll let you know it really we need the, the piece of foam that came with the, with the tape almost there guys uh, so the bolts are on okay so are you are you bolt them on everything is nice and tight uh, I don't I don't think there's a need for that foam uh, you see nothing there's no gap and like I said before uh, the, the the plastic thing is, is going over the bed this plastic thing is going over so whatever rain comes this way is gonna pass the bed so it's not gonna go in so this is the the cover uh, see uh, in, in, in your view, uh, 
these ribs are kind of facing like a U. That means that when you when you pull it out, it's gonna be like an arch. So all the water goes on the sides. Uh, also, if you have any cargo, you have these hooks here uh, where you can roll over uh, your your cover, and they have little hooks so you can put here. You can go on the freeway with it safe. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull it out. comes in place you can make this nicer you know you can stretch it and make it look nice but um, so far so good I'll report back in the comments below see if any if I see any leakage all right so the way to open it there's a strap over here you pull it down and it's open and you can roll it now if you need to adjust it, you have these tabs here uh, with some bolts over there. And so adjust it. Let's say that is too is too loose, bring it towards you. And if you run if you roll it one line, do the same over here. Okay? Let's see focus. Right there. Okay. You can open it with the tailgate up, which is a good safety uh, measure. So, so far so good. Let me just put it back. It goes in the, in the hole over there, in the hole over here, just push it down, nice and tight. And this is the final product here. This one. Somehow it's facing down. I don't like that. I don't like that. Let's see, this thing is facing down. So every time you're gonna open it, it's gonna. This one's supposed to be higher, so your tailgate goes higher. That's weird. Maybe I need to adjust something. I don't think so. Let me know, guys. Let me know if you know how to fix this because I don't. I don't like it. See, that goes inside the. Uh, tailgate. Hmm. I don't like that. Well, I didn't find the solution for it. So my my only downside about this cover is that you need to close your tailgate and then lock your cover. Okay, that's that's the only downside. I, I don't see how I don't see how this is gonna work if you close the cover and then close your tailgate. Uh, let me know guys if you if I'm doing it wrong uh, but that's how you install it I hope you like it um, I did the best I could and there's more mods coming your way um, I'll see you next Monday please uh, like and subscribe uh, leave the comments below if I'm doing something wrong if you think that I can do better so far, I'm, I mean, I like it. I don't mind it. I don't. I'm not the kind of guy that you know uses a truck. I mean, the, the, the bed every day. Uh, but um, I don't know. That's the only downside that I see on this on this cover.
Uh, I'll put the link below. Uh, so if you like it, you can buy it. Uh, yeah, see you in the next one, guys. Bye.